Hi. Okay, so I haven't been on here for a while. Sorry. I also have no subscribers, so you know, I just like talking to myself. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna do some reading. So there might be like multiple um, videos maybe, or this will just be really long. I don't know. So I started um, doing like a food journal kind of thing because my doctor told me to and then I wasn't doing it anymore because it was literally just like this is the date and like a list of all I ate and that was boring um and then I thought well what's more cheesy sorry for the puns this is a food journal thing but anyway I didn't want to be too cheesy but I'll do like a diary type like a legit diary kind of thing but food related um only because I'm not naive to know or to think that um you know this just could be oh I'm gonna start writing it all down and you know everything's gonna change yeah not right away anyway I know this and you'll see when I start reading this um yeah it doesn't happen um excuse it's still 11 o'clock at night and I should probably be sleeping but I don't sleep very well and my anxiety has been kind of crazy today so I don't really want to sleep um, my dreams are extra vivid. Anyway, going off into a different tangent, let's stick with this silly little journal thingy that I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to May 25th, which is when I started writing this. Okay, the first one's long, sort of. Anyway, and I'm gonna read, so I'm looking that way. All right, so May 25th. Decided enough is enough. I can't change why I'm sad all the time, but I can change how I react to it. I will always be sad and upset and in pain emotionally from it all. But again, the reason behind it won't change. So, once and for all, I am making a change for myself. This means exercising however I can, eating better, and finally doing what I have always wanted to do, and that's to write books, both fiction and nonfiction. Maybe this is a book. I don't know. The nonfiction being in the form of a mem memoir, which I have started that one. It's a lot harder than I thought. Um... And the fiction book is based on real life events, but in a fiction storytelling kind of way. Anyway, tomorrow morning will be late. begin my change in eating habits, water intake, and exercise journey. By creating this journal, I'll be able to be more accountable for what I say and do and make sure that instead of my past, moping around, eating in bed, and other activities that fueled my depression and food addiction, I would instead be writing, reading, and exercising to better myself. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Be love, be you, and hugs. Okay. <laughs> Before I continue, let me just say that I actually reiterate here that I did not start this thinking that it was going to be like, oh, the next day everything's going to be great. I'm going to eat better all of a sudden, like, really quick. And exercise all the time. And okay. Of course, that's what my goal is. I'm going to get there. But it's... June, almost June 8th. Yeah, June 8th. Not anywhere near there. Not making excuses. I'm just not there. But I will be. Um, different topic other than food, but um, where it all comes from, if you're new, uh, I have depression and anxiety. My anxiety is really bad. Like, super, super bad. Um, but the depression part, um, if anyone's familiar with addictions, um, like people take drugs and get addicted to drugs because it helps them feel better, whether it means, um, keeping them awake to enjoy things, keeping them happy. Some people, they just want to sleep, so they take pills so they can sleep. Um, and they get addicted to it because they like it. Um, it helps them sleep, it helps them pain, whatever, and they just don't want to stop because it's helping them, so they think. Hence the addiction. Um, alcohol, the same thing. Uh, it numbs things. Uh, sadness, pain, life. Same thing. And those things have a lot of attention to them as far as like rehabs and things like that. However, food addiction, I don't know if people just don't understand it, believe it, all that stuff. Um, that's where I'm at. Uh, I always thought like, hey, I can just take a whole bunch of pills. I mean, if I take enough... I can just OD on some or just take a little extra or I don't know or I always say that I'm going to drink a lot I never do like one or two and I'm done but I just never go down that route 
Um, that's just not me. Food's easy. There's a, excuse me, taste bud thing involved. Excuse me, it tastes good. Um, and it's easy, like I said. Um, so yeah, and then I eat too much when I get really depressed and I'm just laying around and, <gasps> excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, anyway, I'll continue reading for a little bit. So, May 26th, the next day. So far, I've had a cup of coffee and a double chocolate peanut butter go macro bar. Those things are so good. Uh, the coffee was black, no cream or sugar. I actually don't mind it that way. I do not do the workout. I did not do the workout that I wanted to, but I will before the end of the day. I found some good free videos that are low impact on YouTube that I'll try. This should be fun. I had a medium Diet Coke for lunch, paired with a cranberry bacon blue cheese salad. So good. Um, I looked it up. 360 calories and 14 grams of carb for that salad. Dinner consisted of, consisted of a mimosa. I know, I know, orange juice isn't a good choice. And a six piece roll of, I wrote crap sushi. I didn't even change it. Crab. But I literally, that's what it says, crap. I need to change that. Hold on, let's change that right now while I'm talking to you. Cause you know, I don't edit these, it's just me 100%. No editing involved. Anyway, so I know rice isn't the best idea, but the food was purchased by my mom and I couldn't say no. Also, I had about a dozen ginger slices. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are um, sushi people, but um, there's, they always give you ginger with their sushi. Well, I found in a store that you can actually buy like a container and it's like sushi grade um, ginger. So it's just really thin. Oh, God. It's like a snack. I can just open the thing and just eat it like chips, but it's ginger. Anyway. I probably could eat it like chips. It'd be better for me, probably. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. It's only seven minutes and I can read some more. Alright, May 27th. Ready? Okay, today was intended to be a good day, haven't they all? Then came to work and people I work with. Frustration and stress kicked in times 100. So I had maybe 10 tomato basil wheat thins, a cup of coffee, a crap ton of water, and then dot, 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 da, 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 suspense. <laughs> a cheesesteak sub with extra mayo, small fries, and a diet cut for lunch. Uh-oh. Granted, work sucked, so it took me four hours to eat it all. But then my kids and I went to Costco. What am I thinking? There's only three of us. Why do I even need a Costco membership? Then I have to order everything in, or order, buy everything in bulk, which then makes a food addict feel like they have to eat it all. Anyway, $295 later. And I had about two helpings of orange chicken, the breading on it good but not good for you um need to do ex extra exercise for this one um keep in mind that the other day that i said i was gonna do some did not anyway drink a ton more water which i always do um hydro flasks <laughs> love this one um i'll hug it while i talk wait let me put this down okay um blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I think I am supposed to drink a gallon of water a day. I need to drink two today to make up for the crap. That time it's crap and not crap. Crap, I eat. Better tomorrow. Good night. Okay. <laughs> Let me at least get to June and then I'll, you know, stop. May 28th. My addiction to food can easily be explained. Haha. <laughs> no, it can't. I didn't get up early enough to get breakfast. As you can see, I typically don't eat breakfast anyway but decided instead to snack on M&Ms all day. My addiction makes no sense. At least a drug addict is what I'm saying, what I was saying before, but this time it's written down. Okay, at least a drug addict takes speed for energy, weed to relax, but a food addict, addiction, sorry, a food addiction, serves the stress, anger, sadness, and fulfillment roles. That's about it. At least I have two oranges, a pear and a water for lunch, which I remember that. That was good. Can't forget the gazillion ounces of water. 
for dinner I had a salad with mixed greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, steak slices, olive garden dressing paired with a glass of Pinot Noir. Wine probably categorized with juice as far as the healthy goes, but sometimes I need my fruit juice even if it's um, if it's stomped on grapes with alcohol content. Whatever works. End of the night with a banana with almond butter, which in theory sounded good, but it was I wasn't feeling it tonight. Oh well. Good night, everyone. Um, so that day wasn't so bad, but my kids were there. It usually helps. My daughter's vegan, so it's usually helpful when she's around. Cause not that I eat perfect, but at least I eat better. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, me twenty started the day with coffee, watermelon, and cantaloupe. Melon. Delish. Oh, I even wrote delish. <laughs> Teasing a coworker who hates melon. I will enjoy it for him anytime. I could eat watermelon every day. For lunch, I had a salad with mixed greens, balsamic vinaigrette dressing, feta, and then a small fry from Cousins, only because I wanted it. Drank a ton of water, though. Not sure of the ounces, but maybe 64 during the day. For dinner, I had more salad with balsamic vinaigrette, steak pieces, and a go macro bar. See, Costco, bulk, have to eat it all. Along with some iced tea and salted caramel coffee. Not the greatest, but as I tried explaining to my daughter, food is my drug. Some people do drugs, drink a lot, have addictions to prescription meds, mine is food. Again. I'm going to say it over and over again. My arm hurts. May 30th. Ooh, this is long. So, today started horribly. That's a great way to start. In extreme pain, I couldn't walk at all. I was told it's probably plantar's, I remember this, plantar's fasciitis. But holy crap, crap, not crap. My heel hurts, my foot hurts, it's bad. I had to crawl to the bathroom and down the stairs to the kitchen so I could make my coffee. Then my sweet daughter, who is vegan, who and has the best recipes, made me breakfast. Oats with a little oat milk, crushed blueberries, heat in the microwave, add some fruit, and chia seeds. Oh my God. Oh, and I should, I don't know how to do it. I'm not editing. I promised I wasn't going to. You get all me. But message me and I'll send you a picture. She even takes good pictures of her good healthy food. It's impressive. <clears throat> I could probably eat that every day and be completely content. Oh yeah, my foot. So my brother brought me this night splint thing that forces your foot to stay in a flex position while you're sitting and sleeping. So we'll see. This pain is horrible. I need new shoes. I know that much. I'm sure having bad shoes hasn't been helping my situation. I'll write more once I eat more. Happy Saturday and happy birthday to my ex-father-in-law. <sighs> so, four. Lunch, I had watermelon, three falafel balls, and a few leftover pieces of orange chicken. My kids and I played outside and got to have some good laughs and memories, even with my day of pain. For dinner, I had some high peas, with our, which are stuffed chickpeas. They're really good. They're kind of um, supposed to look like puffed, like cheese ball kind of things, but it's made out of chickpeas. Much better for you. Cooked beans. And they're really good. Like, I can eat the whole bag. Look. Shocking. I know. But they're good. I don't think I could eat a whole bag of Cheetos. I mean, I can eat like a handful. I don't even really like them tangent again. Anyway, those are good. Um, they're gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free. Good. I also had leftover galore, the rest of the chicken, and some salad as well. I also had a cold brew from Starbucks and Gatorade. Not a high-class family when it comes to meals. We are pretty casual. Have a nice rest of your day. Okay. May 31st. My breakfast consisted of coffee and a potato and avocado concoction. I mean, the avocado and potato wasn't with the coffee. I'm not changing it, but now that I read it out loud, it's what it sounds like. It was really good. I like to write that. It was really good. Like, that makes up for the fact that it might not be the best idea. But in this case, potatoes and avocado, it's fine. Um, we're going to go to a friend's house, but ended up just driving around. Went to a craft store where I, of course, spent too much money, but I love artistic creativity and crafts. I had carrot jamba juice, which was so amazingly delicious. If you've never been to jamba juice, go. 
Then I had my cheat meal. As if every meal is not a cheat meal. Anyway, I try. Whatever. And I had brisket nachos. Sorry. I can give myself one day or one meal. As if the cousins I had a couple days before that wasn't a cheat day. Oh, again, just reading what I'm writing. <clears throat> At least I'm being honest, right? Now my girls are ignoring me, which is pretty normal for them. They're 11 and 14. Okay, so let me tell you a little story about this. I'll finish reading that in a second. So for weeks, months maybe, I've been saying that my kids are 11, 14, and 18. The other day, I was having brunch, which is written here, but I was having brunch with my brother. And I said that Aubrey was 11. No. She's 12. She's been 12 since January. <sighs> kind of like when the year changes. I mean, not that everyone writes checks anymore, but when you did and the year changed, you still stuck with the old year for a while. For whatever reason, blame it on the quarantine. Yeah. Blame it on that, even though it didn't affect me at all. But yeah, that's why. No. Yeah, I've always said she's 11. And she's been 12 since January. Mom fail. Anyway. They are in their technology world at the moment. It's okay. Have a blessed night. Be loved and be kind. Why? I couldn't tell you that whole story after I was done reading that sentence. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I can read a couple more. Got a couple more minutes. So, June 1st. My daughter is so sweet. She made my food for the day. I had some granola with dark chocolate pieces in it, dried bananas, a chicken burrito bowl, and I drank at least 100 ounces of water. It was a good day. Did I not have dinner that day? I don't remember. We'll go with no. I don't know. I've had to. I don't know. June 2nd. And then there was a bad day. During the day, it wasn't so bad, but that's because work was insane and stressful. I let it all take over. It's seriously an addiction for me. It isn't that I am even hungry. I was so tired and probably could have gone to bed early and not have eaten anything all day, but nope. I ordered a hero, a turkey melt with fries. Granted, I only ate the meat, cheese, and maybe 10 fries, and an order of egg rolled mozzarella sticks. Yeah, I ate all of it in one sitting. Addiction, this addiction, bad. The wings on my arms, that's where they're from. The bubbles on my belly, that's where that's from. Anyway, I ended up going to bed at nine. Probably woke up every three seconds, but uh, whatever. June 3rd. Oh. Okay, this could be the last one, it's kinda long. June 3rd. I had three corn soft shelled steak tacos that had onions and pico on them. Not too horrible. Then had a large Diet Coke to wash it down. Oh yeah, I had a handful of M&Ms. For dinner, I had an entire bag of these gluten-free, no soy, vegan granola ball things. I can never remember the name. Good something. These were granola, banana, and dark chocolate. So good. Had the entire bag. 